Pinch Punch first day of the month guys and welcome to the month of February and to my channel. Um, we are going to be doing this gorgeous painting that I've had for, I can't remember how long, but this is the month of love and that can only mean one thing. We've got to do Valentine's Day painting. So as you can see, we've got two swans there. Um, you're going to have this every day. So it's going to be one of the ones where we work on it every day uh, from the 1st of February right the way up to the 31st. Then on a Tuesday and Thursday, you're going to get double videos, which I really didn't want to do. But unfortunately, it is going to be the case because I have got another um, diamond painting that I wish to bring onto the channel that I bought last year, which I don't really want to hold off another year. Um, <laughs> I want to get it done. So, yeah, this is going to be a really, really lovely painting to start with. I'm so, so excited about this painting. Um, I think I bought it last year. I can't remember, but... Uh, yeah, what we're going to do, we've got some lovely colour blocks in this, so this is going to be quite, I hope, quite a fast-paced moving one. But, uh, yeah, we're going to try and do this for an hour if we can, um, but we'll see what we can do. So, yes, I am absolutely so excited to be doing this one. Um, when I bought this, I've tried to look at the date that I bought it, because I can't exactly remember, but when I bought this, it was... Um, a lovely splash of colour and at the time I was looking for a February painting and I thought oh this looks nice you know uh, so that's really good um, my diamond painting pen broke I don't know how it happened but I put it in my tool thing and the place has snapped off so uh, that's why it's not got a multi-placer in it but we are going to start multi-placing from the next session I always like to start the first session with single placing. Um, so this is where it gets really exciting because we're now going to introduce this lovely gorgeous colour here. Um, and yeah, I have been really dying to get onto this. I've just missed one there. <laughs> but um, yeah, I really, really can't tell you how nice it is to get started on this. So I'm going to bring it down a bit more. Now I'm going to introduce some purple colour, which is absolutely lovely. Like a mauvey lilac, I suppose. Um, I do like purple, but I don't really like the dark, dark purple. I like a bit of lightness to it. So, as you can see, this is how quick this painting is, because it's like a lovely... Every segment seems to be colour blocks, so this is going to whiz by, hopefully. Um, I'd like to think I can do it in a week, by so by... Because I'm actually filming this on the 22nd of January. So I'd like to think by next Sunday we could have it finished. But yeah, I don't know. <laughs> so I'm going to take it down perhaps one more. Because that is now a really big square. I'm going to be really naughty. Um, that in here. I'm going to just take it one. I can't leave that single one on its own. So I'll leave that there and that will commence our first square. So when you're doing a painting, it's always lovely when you get another one to work on. It gives it a lovely fresh um, start to a brand new painting. And uh, yeah, I really can't wait to see how this one looks once all the drills are on and stuff. Um, with March, I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do for March. April is basically Easter themed. Um, May will be science um, theme, um, so September is normally Harry Potter, um, don't know about August and about, well October we know is Halloween so it'll be Halloween related, I'm not too sure about November yet because we were supposed to finish that firework one but in the new year but something I must have totally forgot and yeah. And then obviously December, Christmas again. So I'm really, really not sure about March yet, but I'll figure something out. It could be birds. I mean, May we do flowers because obviously it's the Chelsea Flowers Show. Um, so yeah, I try to get a, each month a bit themed, but I can swap and change it like no tomorrow. <laughs> so I can't believe how quick, fast paced this is moving, this is gorgeous. The colours are so gorgeous, so bright and yeah. So I've got two sort of lovey-dovey ones, uh, which is this, the other one is a tiger. 
And what I plan to do is, um, hang on a minute, what's that? That's five. Here's Johnny. Um, what I plan to do is this painting will be every day with the exception of Tuesday and Thursdays. Tuesday and Thursdays, you're going to get the, the uh, tiger painting because there is a Valentine's Day tiger. Um, and then what I plan to do is this one is the main one for this year. But I didn't want to leave my painting for another year. This tiger has been stuck since February last year. So I would really, really love to get this um, this one at least started this year. So I'm going to now take it up if we can. Um, and this is going to be with the letter F. So let me see where I've got that because I've got jewels on the other on the other thing. Let me get F. So F is up here. This is a light blue colour. So uh, yeah, it's a lovely block. This one. And you know, the quicker I get these done, the quicker I can clear the stash. Um, my ultimate goal is to clear the stash um, because obviously all the unboxings that I do on a Friday, they're all ones that are waiting to be done as well. So I also want to do completions in that. Okay, so we've got eight and B. B's over there, I just need to grab the eight. Oh dear. Um, I think it's this one. Yeah. So again, be very careful because they're very, very similar colours. Um, just a fraction of light one, light one here. But this is a lovely colour. It's like a minty green. So I'm really liking that one. And having this light back is so nice because it's it just gives me something to do in the evenings as well. I've lost so much time when, you know, when I've wanted to do painting and I can't. Because of the light, I just need to get letter two. Again, see what's happening here, very, very similar, even with this one. So yeah. I was actually thinking of getting a painting um, of my favorite football team, which is Manchester United. Uh, BBC, that's funny actually, BBC had a, um, a problem, didn't they? There was a ticker, um, a ticker is basically a thing that runs along the screen um, and someone was new there and they were getting used to the ticker. But what happened was the guy or the woman um, who was doing it, they basically put up Manchester United is rubbish. So, of course, BBC had to apologise for that. But apparently they issued a, a statement saying that they're really sorry it was due to a, a new member of staff getting used to the ticker or something, putting in random stuff. So, um, obviously, he's, they've put it up by error. But why would you, if he's new, why would you put it up on a live broadcast, you know? Unless, obviously, he needs to get used to it being live as well. So that was quite funny. So what I love to do with this is I like to do a square and then I like to fill it. So, yeah, next session we will start to multi-place, which is quite good. Really, really excited about this. It's Sunday night and um, normally on a Sunday I wake up first thing and listen to Bim De Jim. And he's the guy that goes, he was on The X Factor, or was it Britain's Got No, Britain's Got Talent, and he's the one that goes, Sunday morning, love you, Monday morning, love you, I want to love you every day, baby, you are beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Such a catchy song, and uh, Amanda had to hit the... Uh, there's these red buzzers, and if they don't like it, they will slam it. Um, but the slow version, gee whiz, was the out of tune. It's the fast up version you want, um, which I believe was the one he did on the semi finals. So, yeah. So that was pretty interesting. I wanna love you every day. So normally about this time, I'm sort of like watching these tenders and that. 
but because it's a Sunday, there's nothing on, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to do a bit of this. I've been watching a series called The Crown, and boy, does it drag on. There's like five seasons with ten episodes in it, and I've only just reached series two, episode three, I believe. So, um, I'm trying to get that done. Um... It's a busy week next week. Remember that I, I film in advance, so when I'm talking about um, stuff now, this is happening in, like today, um, if I'm talking about like appointments and stuff, that's happening as I'm speaking now, which is still in January, but anyway, so Monday is not really a lot on. Tuesday, I've got Basildon, um, not Basildon, Billericay phoning me. Um, Wednesday, I've got an appointment for the doctors because I got the complaint back, um, in a previous video said that I was going to issue a complaint and I said, I don't want to go up to, they want to do basically this blood test and they want to do a, a high blood pressure because I have high blood pressure and I needed to know whether I still need to take these high blood pressure pills. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, I was told that I had to take them until further notice. But apparently, according to their systems, I've not took it since June. But that's not my, you know, that's not my error because you haven't prescribed it for me to take. So they want to do this blood test. And originally, I was supposed to be going up to St Michael's Hospital, which is in Braintree. It's not an A&E, -A &E, which is accident and emergency. It's basically for like x-rays, birthing control and that sort of thing. Because they have a birthing unit up there. Um, blood tests. But apparently it turns out uh, that apparently if they're really busy at the surgery, they will send it up to my St Michael's due to availability. And I was like, I don't really don't want to go up there. For me to get up there, it's like an hour walk from where I am. And I said, look, I've had it at the surgery. I want it at the surgery. So she was like, she's really lovely. The manager's really lovely. Um, she sorts it out. And then I've got to go back again because they keep text. I think I've got one on Wednesday and then the one on Friday is the flu jab because they keep sending me a text saying something about I'm eligible for a poxy flu jab. Um, I don't really want it, but it is what it is. Um, so yeah but I thought well I might as well have it if they're going to offer me it then great I mean I got really ill at Christmas so and I think obviously my voice don't my mouth don't hurt anymore and I think what it was is because I had an ulcerated mouth I had blisters it's very rare for you to get an ulcerated mouth normally if you've got a mouth ulcer it's only everyone like one part of your mouth or it can occasionally happen on your tongue. But because I had one in the lower jaw near the, you know the bit of skin that holds the tongue to the bottom of the mouth? One was there and then I had two on either side of the tonsils or near there. And I think what's happened is because the ulcer has got so big, it's pulled some of the skin and perhaps that's why it really hurts. So obviously the body's trying to, as it's, Obviously, as the ice, uh, the ulcer's decreasing, it's then shrieking the skin. As it's got bigger, it's probably expanded and ripped it, but um, it was proper sort, I'll give you that. But uh, obviously, by the time I've got into the doctors, it's a waste of time. And I actually said to her, look, I want, if I'm gonna come down, then I want the medications prescribed, you know, because every time I've come down here, and I actually said, you can check my records, every time I've come down here, You've sent me away again with no medication whatsoever, telling me to do this, that and everything. And, it, you know, I know what my body needs. So, oh no, but we can't because it has to be done by the GP. Yeah, well, do you see what I mean? But anyway, hopefully that sorts it out. Because um, they said, um, we, we have to use this thing called Anima, which is basically like a home thing that you put in your problem. And then it sends a signal to the GP and the GP reviews it and says whether you, he wants to see you. And then the admin staff will basically send a message to me and um, say we've booked your appointment and stuff. And I say, could you, you know, if you want to phone me, um, can you text it? Because you're ringing up saying 
oh, I need to book an appointment when you could easily just book it in. I'm not fussed when it's booked, just book, you know, book it in. You don't need to call me every time to book it in. Um, <laughs> so she said it's because that's your preferred preference. Then obviously um, I said, well, can you not speak to my mum about it then? Because like I'm, I don't like being on the phone. I don't like phoning up. Never have done really. Um, if push comes to shove and there's no other way, like if I, if they don't accept letters or emails, then I will have to phone. But where possible, I will always get my mum to do it for me. And look, I've just done it again. <sighs> Every bloody time I do a painting, that happens. How can I keep dropping things? Really? That's what I mean, guys. The slightest knock, and that's what happens. So, uh, just so you know. What I'll do is I'll take that tray off, and I'll use the ones that have just tipped out for the minute. But, yeah. Um, so, that was really interesting. But, anyway, let's, uh, so that'll be that. And then Thursday... I don't think there's nothing on Thursday and then um, Friday I think it's free and then Saturday Sunday job done until another week but gee whiz have we shot through January so yeah um, but anyway let's go into today I'm gonna finish this line have a cup of uh, a bit of my drink because I'm getting a bit dried up here and then I will um, I need to get a drink as my mouth's drying up a bit and then I'll go into what we did today so what I do is with my whipping chats I will make a note of what I want to talk about so as you can see whipping chat that's for the rainbow rose but it's actually today because originally I was going to do the pre-record for the rainbow rose um because obviously of the stream limit thing uh, but then I changed it to a bit of this I think if you're painting it's nice to have a different painting each day to work on it just Freshens your mind up a bit. It's not good to keep doing the same painting day in, day out. Um, so with me, I do a bit of this, then I might do something else tomorrow, you know. So, yeah. Okay, so let me have a bit of drink and then... I'm going to have a look on Amazon, actually, when I... I'm going to have a quick look and see when I actually ordered this painting, because it must have been some point last year. Shouldn't take too long. Let's just put, what would you call it, a swan? Let's see when I got this. Because there's a search bar you can put in your account and it'll bring it up. Oh gosh, yeah, look. So I bought this on March, um, March 2022. God blimey. So it just goes to show you how long I've had this. Does anybody know what painting we did for February last year? But hang on a minute, we we might not have done one because, <laughs> do apologise, because obviously everything was on the old channel and then I wanted to, you know, segregate it and make diamond painting on its own separate channel. So I don't think this channel started in February, but yeah, wow. So. If I'd started it next month, I would have uh, done the full anniversary. <laughs> so this painting is technically a year old soon. But yeah, it just goes to show you. Because I think for most of us, we buy them, we stack them up, and then we forget about them. Um, so what I tend to do is I try to theme it each month. And uh, yeah, so for me, when I'm looking at a painting, I'm thinking, right, that will be a Valentine's Day one. You know, that will be a... Uh, a September one or that might be an August one you know but June and July should be quite fun um, I'm doing an event um, or not an event as such but me and Craft and McKay are going to try and compete against each painting we've got two paintings and we're going to try and beat each other but I've been under strict instructions I can't start it or key it up until the day of 1st of June so because uh, obviously we've got to make it fair um, for each other so um I'm going to try and do mine in the morning before I go to work and then that way because I think before it weren't working perhaps it's because I didn't start uh, it's like the Christmas one the Coca-Cola fan we were doing trying to keep and pete each other and I think just because everything's so busy with buying presents and stuff it's just gone out the window a bit but hopefully this one will be a lot more better 
um, pounds in that, you know. Um, but yeah, really, really um, excited about this. I might do Hobie tomorrow. I need to try and finish that. I have extended that um, until March because I don't know what happened, but last week we were supposed to have the... Um, I forgot that it, the video was cut in half because my storage ran out and I should have stitched it, but I, for whatever reason I didn't. So this week, which is technically the 22nd of January, you should have part two to that video, which makes no sense whatsoever because it should have been up the same day, but yeah. Um, so yeah. But yeah, 22nd of... Um, I'm not, what I'll do is when I start the Tiger one, I'll see the date again, but I'm pretty damn sure I bought it last year, along with this one. I think they both come together, but I'm not too sure. I can't show you yet, otherwise you're gonna know what it is. <laughs> so you'll have to wait for that. What I'll do is, um, let's have a look at the calendar here. So the 1st of February, this will be the 1st of February's video, which will be the Wednesday. So you'll get to see the first of the Tiger on the Thursday, which will be the second. Yeah, that's what we'll do. It's the Tuesday and Thursday will be the Tiger, and then obviously every other day, uh, sorry, every day will be this, apart from Tuesday and Thursdays. I think I'll do it that way. And then that way we've got both paintings doing. And if we don't finish them, again, they'll roll over until next year. No problem. But as long as we start really early, it should be no problem. Obviously, this one's a bit slow because here we've got, we could multi-pose here, but I forgot to put this in, and I don't really want to go in the other room and take time away from that um, because every second is if I go in my room now that's like five minutes of the video eating up with no painting you know so uh, I always start the first ones nice and slow but anyway I've still not got on to what we were doing today right so let's be slip so I woke up at 10 um, and done the usual morning routine as I do, which is like shower, get ready, brush your teeth, that sort of thing, um, freshen up. And then I had, I always in the morning, I'll have a cup of coffee, load my laptop up, see what emails I've got, try and reply to as many as I can. Um, and while I was doing that, I was watching Mrs. Coffee the night before, but unfortunately, um, I run out of time because I normally get up from like seven till midnight and I, once it gets to midnight, if I've not finished that video, I'll keep it on pause until the next day. Because with my with my um, YouTube premium, it actually picks up from where you left off. So finish the other half an hour with that and I thought, well, what I'll do is I'll make a cup of coffee um, and I'll have some toast with it. And then that way I can eat that and watch Mrs. Coffee and finish that video off. Um, so that's really good. So finish that off. Then I was catching up on some more emails. So I tried to do like, I might do an hour of diamond painting and then go back to some emails. Or then after that, you know, lunch and then back to some emails or clearing up. I tried to do a little bit of everything each day. So... Um, I've done the bathroom today, but didn't get as far as the front room, hallway, or living room. Partly because I'm out as um, speed mop things. I need to get some more flash mop uh, wipes. But did you know they're actually doing a, um, there's a dry version. They're doing dry pads or something. I think people are not happy with them being wet, so they're doing dry pads as well. So that's pretty good. I've not tried them, but the idea is it's obviously... The speed mop wipe is wet, so the idea is you wipe it, and then once it's wiped, you go over it again with the dry pad, which then dries it, um, which I don't think is cost effective because it will dry in its own time, you know? Why do you need to buy dry pads? But uh, yeah, so I did that. Um, and then it was time to Time changing to 5 p.m. Oh, no, yeah. Um, yeah, so... When I do the Whip and Track Lives on Friday, you will still get... I've not decided whether it'll be this or the Rose. I'm not sure. Or what we might do is alternate it. Um, 
I did say that would be every Friday. I'll have to have a look at that. But what I've decided to do, as I said in the live video previously, I'm changing the time from 10 p.m. to uh, 5 p.m. because it clashes with the news. And I like to watch it when it's on. Um, even if it's boring crap and nothing interesting, I I like to sit down. And when I'm live, I can, there's no way of catching it up. I've look, tried to look on the app, but it doesn't appear to be like any catch-up thing. So, yeah. Oh, this bar chair, this bar chair is okay, but it's really it's uncomfortable because it's a big, it's a flat, hard seat, um, and I need to get a cushion on it. But the, I, it's a waste of time because when you put the cushion on it, it just slides off. So. Uh, I need them like you know where you can get these little tassel things you and you tie it's like a, a rope thing and you put the cushion on the chair and then you tie it onto the back of the pole I need to try and sew some of them on it and then I could do that but it means sewing them onto the pillar because the pillar don't have them so that yeah that'll be changing then obviously you'll get the unboxing in the morning um, at 10 obviously the lives are currently affected at the moment because um, we haven't got our streaming limits used up, so uh, I've got to wait to the 13th, but the next live will be the 17th. And when I checked it last night, there's something weird going on, because I don't know if StreamYards was watching, but it said 1 hour 30. And I showed that on my live. And then when I logged off and logged back in again, because I had to put up a different banner, it... Um, it said you've got two hours left, so I thought, well, I don't want to risk going live and then it's not, you know, because um, I could go live and then it'll go, oh, you've, it's not um, that. So unless they put it on there free, I don't know. But yeah, I'll have to have a look at that. Or unless you record it, because as you're filming, it's recording it to StreamYards. Unless it's done that and it's saved it and I've deleted one, and it's freed up more hours, I don't know. Um, but as far as I'm aware, I've used it all up. So, yeah. Which is interesting. <laughs> well, I'm really, it's really, really pleased with this so far. We've done quite a good session here. It's going to be interesting once we get to uh, that black palm tree down there. The blend with the pink is going to really like, probably, I don't know what the colour contrast will be because it's a little bit, I don't think it's going to offset it slightly. Pink and black don't really go very well together because they're two dark colours. If it's a dark pink, of course it will be a bit too dark for that, but... Then I did some filming on the um, Sovereign of the Seas that I'm building and boy, it was that bloody difficult. I couldn't get the wood in. The wood's not going in. I've tried shaving it down, it don't do it. So I don't know what's going on with that, but somewhere down the line, it, uh, it's not having it. I tried sanding it, tried shaving it down a bit, um, widening the hole up for the other part of the keel to go in or the bow, whatever you call it. And um, yeah, we're gonna have it. So in the end I thought, well, I'll stop the video here and I'll try and tackle it off camera. The six hour live um, has had to be adjourned because unfortunately, because of this stream limit thing, I'm not gonna be able to do that now until after the 13th. But the plan of action is we're gonna go live at 6 a.m. in the morning and then we'll do a painting from A to B until it's finished. That's the idea. Provided my phone don't get, don't get too hot. I have filmed before and my phone's got really, really hot and it's stopped the phone and it says your phone needs to cool down. I do record time in the summer. I was filming and it was scorching hot and I knew it would overheat, but I, I had to get the live video done because I don't like to, if I say I'm gonna go live, I tried to meet that commitment. I don't like letting you guys down and I don't like cancelling. I'll only cancel if absolutely necessary. Um, but it's, it's crazy to think that Australia has their Christmas in the boiling hot and then we have it in winter. 
I'd love to have Christmas in the, in the heat. I've always wanted a white Christmas, but we got so close to it a few years ago. And they recorded it as a white Christmas. It's not a white Christmas because white Christmas counts when it's snowing on Christmas Day. <laughs> but yeah. I'm really pleased. What I love, what's so satisfying about paintings is for me, it's seeing the picture come to life. It's getting every drill on. Every single drill that you put on is making room in your tray and means you're closer and closer to kitting up another painting. So it's, it's, oh, it's lovely. filming this and I feel like it's 10 o'clock and it's not, it's only 10 past 7. But I have missed this light because I've not been able to, as I said, it's caused me so much backlog because it's it's the best light in the, um, the house really. I spend, it's quite strange because I spend the majority of my time in the kitchen Number one, because of my bar chair, I can sit on the seat. Number two, I just have got so used to sitting in the kitchen doing the videos and that, I just seem to spend most of the time in here. Um, the only time I do sit down on my couch is if I am watching EastEnders or there's a programme that I like. By the way, I didn't know this, but I was looking on the planet today and of course, 118 on Sky is um, uh, ITV2 HD, I think it is. And um, obviously on a Sunday, it's cram packed with films. They had Ants on, then they had The Crudes, then it was Sam and Carol's Step Up 3, which I don't really know what that is. Then they had um, Legally Blonde, which is on now, I believe. And then. They had, um, and then obviously nine o'clock they've got Love Island. And I'm thinking, well that must have started last week then because the, it said it's the second week in. So obviously, I'll be honest, I watch it. Um, my sister is obsessed with it. My mum loves it. Um, and I think, it, I do like it, but I think it's crap in a way. You don't need to show all about your love life, you know. Um, but basically, basically, it's about these people that live, it's basically very similar to Big, to Big Brother. They live in this house thing and they basically have to meet partners and hook up with partners and stuff within the house. So you've got half, um, you've got probably about, I don't know, for example, probably about seven girls, seven boys, and then they've got to find a partner within that house. But I'll watch it. Um, I don't know if you've noticed, we're getting a lot of good stuff back. They're even saying that bit a deal or no deal's coming back, but it's going to be with Stephen Mullen. So, which I don't think is going to go down very well. I do like Stephen Mullen. I've met him at Butlins. But it's always been no Edmonds show. So it's going to be interesting getting used to and adapting that there's a new presenter. But apparently it's to give him a fresh new look. I mean, Stephen Mullen is an ITV2 presenter, so... He does do ITV3 as well. Um, he does catchphrase. That show really, really is so annoying. I mean, why on earth do you want that program? It's old fashioned. But I think what they need to do is take off all these game shows. I don't understand it. Why do you want to watch a game show? The chase is boring. Pointless is absolutely depressing. Um, the catchphrase is like, trying to fall asleep um <laughs> but uh i think the only one i really watch is um limitless wing event and deck not really a game show person but and i like um what's the one where they drop the counters in the it's like a big um counter thing and it has tipping point and there was a tiktok video that apparently there's a magnet on the um there's a magnet on the counter and it's as it drops, it pulls it across. So they reckon, but I don't think there is. I think it's all talk. 
It's got a bee in it. so well we should be finishing up shortly got about another 20 minutes or so I'm looking forward to doing the multi face but I, I wanted to get a nice early start on this so that hopefully we can get it from I've never got a painting completed whenever I've said like it's a theme month it's never completed in time so I thought well I'll start really early and then hopefully we can't nothing can go wrong you know I don't know why even when I start it, it's like the Coca-Cola fan. I started it on time, but for, for some reason, I didn't finish it until... I mean, we got very close, but I don't know. It's probably because I stayed over at Relatives for New Year and stuff. Um, by the way, the unboxings are coming to an end for the Christmas ones because um, I do have some from the works that are behind that. Um, originally... The unboxings for Christmas should have been up well before January, but because obviously you've always got a house full, I can't film when they're there because there's feedback from them talking and I can't edit it out. So um, I have to wait for them to either go to work and then I can film the painting or because I do some over there as well. Um, my tripods are nice over there, it's a white one. So the one where you see, the videos where you see that red Christmassy cloth, that's the videos that I film over there, uh, the Christmas ones. But I think there's two more, and then we should be going into the ones from the works, prism diamond painting. Um, <coughs> so yeah. And then there's abrupt silence, because <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> My jar of dirt is getting, um, I call it the jar of dirt, but it's technically jewels, because, um, oh, um, I call it the jar of dirt, because there's a scene in Pirates of the Caribbean where Johnny Depp gets David Jones locker and puts it in a jar of dirt. And then he hides the dirt over the, uh, the part of David Jones' locker. And so the saying goes, you're not supposed to kill the heart to the captain of the, um, the, uh, oh, what's that shit called? Dutchman, is it? Or the flying something? The flying Dutchman, is it? Can't remember now. But anyway, if you stab the heart of David Jones... The, the ship always has to have a cap a captain. So the ship cannot have a captain. Because I think what happens is they they got they come like well, they're all creatures, but if they I think if they stab the heart then they all come back to the real person. Not creatures, I don't know, but something like that. But the ship turns upside down and all this palaver, but the Kraken, that is a good scene because you've got this massive Kraken monster. And then Davy Jones, uh, sorry, uh, Jack Sparrow gets set by him with all this horrible slime that he spits on him. But it's interesting because he gets set and then he gets revived again. And then there's a bit with Tia Dorma and that goes, then you must have a captain, and then Jeffrey Rush comes down as uh, Captain Bubbles, uh, you know. I need to watch Cool Runnings again, I love that film. La 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 la, la 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 la, Bob Slating. John Candy, such a brilliant actor, but unfortunately he passed away. Um, lovely actor, he's been in uh, Home Alone and he takes the um, parents to New York. No, the parents are trying to get back home to Kevin because they realise that they've left him at home. And so John Candy 
takes them home. That's his real name. I can't remember what the name of the actor plays in the uh, in the movie, but yeah. And I've just remembered. I'll have to check Gems Flow because I don't know if I've put this on here. Gems Flow. Um, if anyone don't know what Gems Flow is, it's basically an app. And what you do is, it basically, it's called Gems Flow and you put your projects on there. So as you can see, projects. Um, but as you can see down here, it's called Gems Flow. That one there. So yeah. So I'll have to check that. I think I did put it on there, but uh, there's no more room on the wall. I've had to put half a dozen. All that stash that I found recently and I showed you on on the stream what ones I have, they've had to be put in the wardrobe because I've got no space on the wall to put them up. Um, and obviously I've got this idiot coming around to do this poxy gas check thing. So um, I was gonna put them up then, but I don't really want to put them up if he needs to take the cover off the boiler or needs to get to like the top of it or I don't know. But yeah, but they'll probably go in the front room. I think I don't know. Could you imagine like coming in and there's paintings all over the wall, and it's like, oh, I like that one, I like that one. But yeah. Apologies if you can uh, hear the TV in the background there. That's just uh, ugly blonde. Oh, yes, finally we get to colour change. <laughs> I hate paintings where you feel like you've been working on the same colour all the time. Um, or like you're going... What really annoys me is like when you're going along with the same colour and then randomly there's just a random colour to break the colour up a bit. And then, yeah, so... Uh, very annoying that. <laughs> I think tomorrow I will get up and probably do another session of this because I need to do a bit of Titanic after this. Um, if you like building models, then head over to uh, Harshet Partworks and you can start building your own Titanic. It's a two year construction, you get parts every week or if you're a subscriber, you get them every month. Um, so yeah, it's pretty good. You'll know when I've run out of things to say because I'll go quiet and we'll just like sit here for night, for ages not talking. <laughs> but I'm the thing is when you're doing whipping chat is you're always trying to think you're basically thinking of what to say as you're going along. Um, but I do try to make a list. So yeah. I did do a live stream once of a pink flower and a yellow thing that I got from the rose, um, got from the rose, that I got from the um, the works, and I did it from twelve, and I think we just finished at six in the morning, and then I went to bed until twelve in the afternoon, but I'm gonna swap it um, to six a.m. rather than do it at night time, I'll do it in the morning. So yeah. And then that way I don't have, because it really mucked my day up that day, because I know, you know, I have to get on with things throughout the day and uh, really bug up my day up. So I'm doing it the other way this time. Oh, 
get some more wax and uh, bit of tea, I think. to take a pill in a minute I'm getting a headache I hate tea with no milk but for, um, unfortunately I run out of milk so I have to drink tea with no milk in it and it's absolutely horrible so bloody strong it gives you a headache so Yeah, I don't think there's nothing really exciting happening in February apart from my brother's birthday halfway through the month. Um, but he, I, I don't, again, I don't know if we're going to see him or not because he's he's moved in with Vicky now, which is in um, they live in uh, Billericay. They keep saying Chelmsford, but they don't. Um, they live in Billericay, and uh, obviously now he's got his son, so I don't know, but. I still get him something and leave it, you know, at the house. He's always visiting and stuff, but he's got a funny sort of relationship with me. He's he's, he's not like he will visit when I'm not there. Well, like when I'm there, he won't visit. But the minute I go home, he visits. It's like he's avoiding me. And you know, we haven't spoke for years. I don't really understand why, but um, we don't really speak. And obviously, since Teddy come along. It's sort of like I'm trying to rekindle that friendship and uh, I wouldn't say friendship, but rekindle the relationship I have. Because um, at the end of the day, I'm still his brother, you know, so. Um, but I think since Teddy's come along, it's sort of like broke the ice a bit. Um, but yeah, I mean, he didn't get me a card for my birthday, but, you know, being the reasonable, I'm older than him. So I have to, he's 20, so he's like, if I'm 30, he's like 10 years younger than me. But he has to like, um, I have to be, you know, don't, what am I trying to say? I don't want to, if you don't get me anything, then I have to accept that, you know. Um, I think, you know, we need to stop this bickering um, and move on, really. Um it's pretty young to have a kid though, 21. That's still young. My other friend Jake, he's just had a kid as well. Um, he's got a girl on the way, so uh, yeah. But I do think some people rush into it like you. Oh my god, hang on a minute. Oh, he's right. Why did I think that's wrong? I get moments like that. I, get, I get paint and then I think it's wrong. <laughs> but yeah, why do people rush into it? Like some of my friends. They've only known their girlfriend for like probably about two weeks and then already they've had a kid and it's like you've only known them two weeks, you know. But I think my my brother's actually been um, with Vicky a year, but when they put the post up, um, I said to my mum, is this real? Um, and he said, and she said, oh, hold on a minute. He wants me to talk to her on the phone and he, it was just to say that I'm going to be an uncle and that. And... Um, but the way she put it on Facebook, she said, we're totally shocked, but we're having no baby. And I'm like, well, you must have known. Like, unless that was part of a gimmick. I mean, how can you not know you're having a kid? <laughs> but, um, yeah. I mean, obviously you've done the deed, so you must obviously know that you're having a kid. How can you not know that? Unless it was supposed to be a surprise for the, her family. But yeah, well, her family is massive. There's like probably about seven brothers, seven sisters. You've got all the aunties. It's like a squatter. They all live in the same house. And I'm like, you must have a bloody big ass then.
but their garden is bloody massive. Personally, I've never visited, but uh, and what really annoyed me at Christmas is Vicky came round and she said, um, "Oh, I've got some presents with me," and I took no notice of it because I don't talk to her. For me, when I was holding Teddy. Uh, and my brother was introducing me to him. She was like on guard, looking at me, you know, as if to say, "Who am I?" And I mean, it's like, you know, she it's, it's like she she does exactly the same to my sister. Like she's always on guard, and uh, I'm like, you, you know, I am allowed to, you know, he's my nephew. But yeah, but anyway, she comes over and she goes, "I've got these presents," and I thought, "Oh, here we go," you know. Um, and she goes, oh, I didn't get Michael anything because I didn't know he would be here. Uh, why would I not be there on Christmas? Hello? Um, she done the same on my birthday. Oh, I didn't know it was his birthday. Yeah, heard it all before, mate. But whenever they come over, I don't. I sit in the kitchen because I don't like her. I think she's very stuck up. Um, so I don't really talk to her. You know, if you can't send me a gift, then how can we possibly get on? I mean, I know you shouldn't really give to receive and all that palaver, but, you know, it is a bit hurtful when everyone else has got a present and then you haven't. I mean, but I just brushed it off as I do. You know, it's... Uh, if that's how she wants to be, then I can do the same back. So, ha. <laughs> I don't get offended, but I do. It was a bit upsetting because, like, everyone else got a present, but you know, she knows I can't. She knows I'm his brother, so you see what I mean. Like, it's a bit of a piss take, if you ask me. But that's how they are. It's like my nan. She don't. My nan hasn't spoke to my brother for years for whatever reason. She don't talk to me either, and I don't know what it's over. But rumours have it that apparently it was over because my cousin had a job that was. This wonderful job, apparently, fixing pipes um, in a school. And because at the time I had a job doing warehouse work, I'm basically, that that's not work, like, that's not a good job to her, so. And one day he called my granddad a bastard. And if I did that, that would be, oh, no, don't, can't, don't talk to me no more. But he can get away with it and he can say, that's well, and uh, you know, that's fine. It's wonderful, you know. But my auntie, yeah, but she got so, uh, all her friends got fed up with her. She did not leave her with this friend alone. So this woman called Jill used to live around the back. Uh, so her house was here and she would live around the back house. And um, every day she would go around there. And the poor girl, I, th I felt so sorry for her because, you know, she's got family of her own. And every day she's around there smoking and, you know, having a chat and having a drink and in the end she moved away to Somerset and I thought, oh my God, that is so good. Absolute brilliant, yeah. So good, well done. Then the um, Jack came round and, um, no, Jason, I think, no, it must have been Jack, I can't remember his name, but he came round and uh, took me to Badminton and she hated it. She didn't like it one bit. She hated the fact that he invited me and not my cousin. And she really didn't like it. And I thought, ha ha, you know, got your back now, ain't I? Ha ha. <laughs> but yeah, she is a funny character. Walks up the street like a tomboy and uh, thinks she's all Mr. Wonderful. Horrible, horrible person. Don't like her one bit. And she's... She got really funny with my mum. She don't speak to my mum. Apparently they don't want, um, I think it's over the same sort of thing. So basically one day my cousin had a baby. She wanted, my mum wanted to generally meet him and she was like, he was like, no, I don't want her meeting him. And there was this massive row, right? You know, because there's there are legal rights, you know. If, um, say a family member don't stop them seeing the other family member, you have legal rights you're entitled to see your cousin or your nephew and stuff like that. So they haven't spoke for years. She keeps coming in the shop causing problems and the manager is well aware of it. And she, But the problem is she has to wait for something, to, like for her to start to, to get that ban put in place. So um, 
she's waiting for her to go off on one um, and then we can get a band from the shop. But yeah, it's a funny old world we live in, isn't it? How families talk and don't talk. I mean, even the royal family are having the same problem because um, Harry is uh, wants to reconcile and I don't think the other ones want to. And the way I deal with it with my friends is when I, um, if we've had a falling out, then, you know, whatever, come to me, we'll, we can have a conversation. Um, you know, with me, if they're wound up, I let them simmer because that's what you do. But um, I'll only give them like a second chance. And then after that, it's like, you're gone, mate, you're, bl you're blocked for good. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, this is what I was saying the other day about, you know who true friends are and who fake friends are, because no matter what, if you've had a big argument, you've called them a nasty name, true friends understand and fake friends don't. Fake friends are the ones that, you know, you could have called them a name and they block you because they think that's the best option. Um, but with true friends, they know you're angry and they know you know, to let you calm down, let you simmer, and then come back to you, because that's what true friends do. But, uh, yeah, so, um, but Amazon, did I tell you Amazon Smile or closing down the Amazon Smile thing? But, you yeah, know, it's uh, another birthday I've got to pay up for, but Teddy's is the same as me, because my birthday is in November, so, uh, it's like me and Teddy have the same, I think Teddy's is like, uh, let's have a look here. So November's, December, no, that one. What have I got this year? I have got, oh, I've got a cheetah for my birthday. <laughs> um, so I'm there. So Teddy's is like two weeks after mine. And I hate, I, I, I really wish I had a birthday like in the middle of the month because it's so close to Christmas. Um, but yeah, well, unfortunately, we're going to have to stop this soon. We'll do, we'll just carry on this line here and, uh, we will have to bring that out, but we have got a hell of a lot more than I, than I thought. So I'm really happy with the progress on this. It's a shame when you see it come to like that, you just want to finish it. But I do try to need, I didn't need to try to keep it to an hour really. Um, and I think probably that's where it went wrong on the Coca-Cola van. I think because we were doing 30 minute sessions, we're not getting a good old, you can see the difference when we do 30, it's like up here. Then when we do an hour, it's much more of a block. So yeah, maybe that's the way to do it guys. <laughs> and the same thing will apply. You know, if we're approaching the deadline, we'll speed it up. If we're, you know, too far near the deadline, then we can always slow it down a bit. We'll just see how it goes. Um, but we've got miles of time yet. Um, so yeah. So the next session is sort of like a sky, I should appear. I could do this painting a bit differently and then work this way and work down from there. But I like, I do like to brush it across. I can't wait to get into this pink section here. That's gonna pop. I really like uh, working on pink. Um, Yeah. I was filming more of the flower letters today, which is a company that you do, but uh, anyway, that is where we're gonna leave it today, guys. Um, so please remember to uh, like, share, subscribe. Please get this painting if you like it. It's a lovely, lovely painting to work on. Um, I've really enjoyed the first session, actually. So uh, yeah. Um, really lovely um, to work on there so uh, what, what do you think there but uh, yeah as you can see we will be um, brushing it along here let's just see what it looks like without the light oh, wow 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 look at that really colorful isn't it because you've got pink in this and uh, I think this part's gonna be really nice we've got flexor maybe these are these birds or something maybe in the sky um, but yeah wow it's pretty nice but yeah so the next session what we'll do is we'll get the multi-place if we're in here and then we'll try and multi-place this this will be a really good block
But please remember to like, share, subscribe. I'll put the link in the description of the video where you can get this painting. Uh, it does come from Amazon, but obviously check places like Fancils. Always, if you're buying a painting, always check uh, check around. You might get cheaper than you know Amazon. Um, you know what Amazon are like, they fluctuate up and down all the time. So uh, yeah, but anyway, I really, really enjoyed that session. But until next time, which will be tomorrow, please remember to like, share, subscribe. Remember to tap the bell if you want to be notified for all the videos. Remember to get yourself this beautiful dog from Prism Diamond Painting. If you want to get this um, for yourself, I'll put the link in the description of that as well. Take care, have a lovely evening, bye bye.